Amid all this talk about Chandrayaan-3 mission, you must know that Indian Space Research Organization is not just about the moon mission. It's also about heading to the sun, the Venus. It's a crew to space mission as well and much beyond. Aditya L1 will be observing the sun from a close distance and try to obtain information about its atmosphere and magnetic field. Aditya L1 will be launched from the ISRO PSLV rocket from Sriharikota where it has already reached, equipped with seven payload on the board to study the sun's corona, solar emissions, solar wind and flare and coronal mass ejections and will carry out round-the-clock imaging of the sun. Payloads are getting integrated with the satellite and uh, it will go through a series of testing including thermovac, vibration, so many things and uh, after that we will we'll have the launch. So Aditya L1 will have different tools. What will these tools be? A camera that can take pictures of the outside atmosphere of the sun but not just one camera. The second camera will try to take pictures of the sun in ultraviolet light. Then there will be an experiment attempted to study the particles being released by the sun. The plasma analyzer will try to act like a weather tool in the space. But that's not all. There is going to be a solar low-energy X-ray spectrometer. This gadget will try to observe the sun in high energy. And then there is this high-energy X-ray spectrometer, which will observe the high-energy X-rays of the sun. The Gaganyaan mission, that's a landmark project for ISRO, aims to demonstrate human spaceflight capability by launching a crew of three members to an orbit of 400 kilometers for a three-day mission and bring them back safely to Earth, landing in the Indian Sea waters. Astronauts traveling on the Gaganyaan human spaceflight will wear specially designed orange space boot. These are created by Vikram Sarabhai Space Center in Thiruvananthapuram. So then the question is, when will Gaganyaan be launched? ISRO chief S. Somnath has said at India Today Conclave that only once they are absolutely confident that the crew will be safe, that is when they will launch this mission. And so, the first goal is to perfect the crew escape system. Space Agency has selected four pilots from the Indian Air Force who are undergoing training presently. And to take help, we have one Indian who has been to space already. Can you answer who? India's lone astronaut Rakesh Sharma. He's the one assisting in training the astronaut candidates. Clearly, he has some experience to tell the astronauts about. Upar se Bharat kaisa dikhta hai aapko? This spacecraft also plans to carry Vyomitra, a spacefaring human robot developed by ISRO. The LVM-3 rocket will also be used after emerging as a favorite for ISRO's commercial launches after successful placing in the orbit of at least 36 OneWeb satellites. Gaganyaan mission was conceived in 2007, announced in 2018 and will be awaited eagerly for putting Indian astronauts back into the space. Mangalyaan, India's first mission to Mars in 2013, successfully reached the planet's orbit by 2014. India became the first nation to be able to study the Martian atmosphere. So next in plan will be Mangalyaan 2, India's second interplanetary mission and the second mission to Mars will consist of an orbital probe equipped with a hyperspectral camera and a radar. Expect that possibly between 2024 to 2025. So after successfully sending missions to the moon and Mars and aiming for the sun, ISRO is now eyeing Venus, aimed to study the atmosphere of Venus, which is toxic and corrosive in nature, with clouds of sulfuric acid that are covering the planet. The Indian Space Research Organization says they are ready with a mission plan and the funds have been identified. That will be needed to sustain this exploration. But the question then is, why choose Venus? To find out how it became an inferno. Was it similar to Earth with characteristics at any point in time? And then what changed? You should know that United States of America and Europe have already announced missions to explore Venus very soon. Let's now talk international collaborations. NISAR will be a joint mission with USSC to understand climate change, deforestation, glaciers melting, volcanoes, earthquakes and more. Two major components of NISAR satellite have been combined to create a single spacecraft in Bengaluru. Likely to launch uh, in 2024, NISAR, which is short for NASA and ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, will be an equal collaboration to track movements of Earth's land and ice surface in extremely fine detail. 
It's about the size of an SUV and partially wrapped in gold-colored thermal blanket and the satellite's cylindrical radar instrument payload contains two radar systems. So how does this work? This collaboration basically here means, for example, parts of a band radar built at the Space Application Center in Ahmedabad, then flown in March 2021 to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, where engineers had been developing Nisar's L-band radar. Once Nisar reaches Sri Harikota, it will be mounted atop ISRO's geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark II rocket and will be sent into the low Earth orbit. Autonomous docking of the spacecraft ISRO SPADEX, which is the space docking experiment, aims to demonstrate the autonomous docking of two spacecraft in orbit. It will be a critical capability for building a multi-module space station and facilitating future human interplanetary missions and in-orbit spacecraft refueling. India Today's open source investigations, the OSINT, continues to monitor India's progress in the field of space exploration and here's all that India has been working on. And finally, we wait for HAVA, the hypersonic air-breathing vehicle assembly that is being readied and it can deliver payload of up to 500 kg to low Earth orbit. Based on the reusable launch vehicle technology, the HAVA will be a space shuttle-like vehicle. It will fly on the back of a GSLV, deliver the payload and return to land on an airstrip just like an aircraft does. There are also LOX methane engines, air-breathing rockets that are currently under development. As we're talking of all these missions in future, I think of all the youngsters today who are watching the Chandrayaan mission, tracking ambitious plans, getting inspired to take this up further. Vikram Sarabhai had a mission that is being fulfilled by the Vikram lander by today's experts and will be pushed ahead by tomorrow's young scientists. Thank you so much for watching. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.